The Reading with Rover program is helping kids at Wedgwood Elementary discover the joy of reading. For high school students looking to learn a trade, the Seattle Skills Center has something for everyone. Plus, we've got highlights from MLK Day celebrations from around the district. All this and more coming up on First Bell. I'm Adrian Manriquez, proud assistant principal at Washington Middle School. And the junior Huskies are taking over First Bell. What's up, SPS? I'm Christian Gonzalez Orozco. And I'm Owen Merriman. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. We've got some cool stories for you, so let's get into it. In November, Wedgwood Elementary implemented an innovative program where students gain confidence and improve their reading skills by reading to specially trained service dogs. Teresa has a story. Reading out loud in front of your peers can be scary for those who struggle with reading, but with the introduction of the Reading with Rover program, students can't wait to practice on a pooch in a one-on-one -on -one setting. The certified therapy dogs in the Reading with Rover program come to school throughout the month to serve as good listeners. Their calming presence helps kids shake off their anxiety and the fear of judgment so students can focus without the pressure of an audience. Chrissy Leland, the school's teacher librarian, works closely with other teachers to identify students who need a boost in learning to read at grade level. They started with eight students and now the program has expanded to 25. So early on we started with the kids who were struggling, but then we didn't want it to just be the kids who were struggling. So um, the last six weeks or so I've reached out to teachers just to say, hey, do you have any kids that just like to read or that are a little bit stronger readers that maybe are, maybe even they're reading a little bit above, but they just like to have a little bit of time. And so we've noticed like some kids who maybe just struggle with confidence in class or um, any anxiety issues or anything like that, they really love to come in and just kind of read with the kids too. The district's goal is to have all students become strong readers by the end of third grade, which is when kids start reading to learn instead of learning to read. Reading with confidence is the goal at Wedgwood. Reading with dogs is what makes it fun. Dogs make me feel happy and reading with one makes me feel very happy. According to Principal Christy Smith, Wedgwood has seen great gains in students' reading skills since implementing Reading with Rover. You can read more about the school's journey on the district website. This is Teresa Bunch reporting for First Bell. Back to the studio. It's never too early to start thinking about college and career choices. The Seattle Skills Center delivers advanced career and technical education for high school students who may be looking to learn a trade or expand their college and career options. As the need for well-trained workers grows, the Skills Center offers classes like Advanced Manufacturing, Construction, and Maritime, fields that are lucrative but often go overlooked. There are also options like Medical Assisting, Video Game Design, and a Teaching Academy. Students who are interested can fill out a form on the Seattle Skills Center webpage to receive information on the available courses. It was a week full of celebrations and service as schools around the district honored Dr. Martin Luther King Jr with parades, assemblies, and school campus beautification projects. Students from Orca K-8 brave freezing temperatures to march for social justice in honor of Dr. King. Other schools held assemblies in his honor. At Denny International Middle School, hundreds of businesses, community members, and students came together for a campus beautification project. Volunteers painted murals and worked outside pulling weeds and planting greenery around the Denny campus. You don't want to miss these important announcements, so get ready for the rundown! Students who are interested in attending a school outside of their neighborhood can apply to request a different school through the school choice process. Priority is given to students that apply before February 28th, so act fast! Applications are prioritized based on the date the application is received. Students, if you're entering high school but you're not sure what classes to take, the introduction to the high school course registration catalog has what you need to make informed decisions when choosing classes for next year. It also helps you keep on track for graduation. The catalog can be found on the district website and is translated into five different languages. We've got some good news and bad news. The good news is midwinter break begins Monday, February 19th. All schools will be closed for the week, but the district office will be open. Now for the not so good news. Once we return, there won't be another break until April. So buckle up, it's gonna be a long ride. You can find more information about these announcements on the district website. This is Fiona reporting for First Bell. Back to our studio. Before we head out, we need a favor from the SPS community. We're looking for the district's most spirited teachers, educators like Sarah Martin from Chief South International High School. 
Miss Martin has been wearing the school colors every single day for 11 years. Wow, that's wild. 11 years? Every day? If there's a spirited teacher in your school community, tell us about him. They could be featured in an upcoming show. You can find the nomination form on the district website in our story about Miss Martin. That's it for this episode. Be sure to tune in next month as we travel north for the next student takeover. Here's a clue. The view from their new building is amazing. I think I have an idea where they're going. If you want to hear more about these stories, visit our website and be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, School Beat. Until next time, I'm Owen Merriman. And I'm Christian Gonzalez Orozco. We'll catch you later for First Bell.